Hello there, welcome back to the Ogre, the old Git Reacts Reviews and Off Times Reminiscences. Um, the other day, um, I was on the interwebs, as you are, as you do, and um, uh, stuff in my feed for YouTube pops in that um, I would never have thought of, and, um, and mostly I ignore it, but um, sometimes something pops in there that sparks a memory, and one of them most recently was um new model army and um vagabonds was the track now it comes from thunder and consolation and i have that album somewhere uh i played it once never listened to it again because at that time it was it wasn't really my thing new model army interested me because they used to blast out vengeance in in rock city when i used to go there and um it sounded far better to have high volume in a murky old club than it than it did on CD. So when I bought the album, um, Thunder and Consolation, I was a little bit disappointed that it wasn't quite, um, not heavy as such, but uh, as intense as it sounds at mega volumes. Um, but times move on and uh, I thought I'd give it a listen. Uh, and so getting to the point, um, I'd forgotten all about um, the tracks on Thunder and Consolation and well, I had a, a curiosity got the better of me, and I listened to Vagabonds on um, Vagabonds on um, YouTube, uh, and I can't remember it ever having a violin on it. Um, that's probably more to do with my age and my lack of memory. But um, but it struck me that um, violins, and that's violins, not violence, um, can have quite a, a profound effect on a on a song uh, and. As I thought upon that, uh, a couple of other songs sprang to mind. So we're going to have three little um, songs in a row that uh, feature violins, um, if not prominently, at least pivotally. Yeah. So should we listen to Vagabonds? I'm sure those of you that uh, are into New Model Army, and there must be one or two of you amongst the very few <laughs> subscribers I've got, that uh, uh, get... Um, it's a bit tickled by a new model army. Let's um well listen, share how we let's go. Okay, so um, it's funny how your memories sort of change over time, and um, what you, th you thought you'd heard in the past um, doesn't quite gel with what you hear when you hear it again. Uh, first thing to say is that um, one of the good things about violin, I'm not a fan of classical music and classical instruments, but um, again, it's not what you do, it's, 
it's the way you do it. Um, violins do have the capability of telling a story and um, sort of plucking at the emotions and um, that initial violin introduction um, certainly sets a scene, it paints a picture and um, it sort of um, puts you into a state of anticipation, shall we say. So when the, the music proper kicks in, or the rock, if you, if you like, kicks in, um, you are, uh, you're you're sort of ready and waiting for a tale to be told. And the good thing about New Model Army um, is they do tell a tale. And it, I'm putting it in the context of the music I was listening to around that time. Um, it was a case of... You couldn't really tell most of the, most, and it's even worse now, but at the time, even then, I was getting into more raucous forms of uh, music that um, the vocals were becoming increasingly uh, less legible or illegible. Um, so um, another thing before we move on is looking back, the reason New, New Model Army didn't gel with me too much on CD at any rate was... I was getting into distorted music and uh, th there's not enough distortion there now uh, or wasn't enough distortion there then for me to uh, keep interest in them. Um, I was young, I was daft and um, into uh, more, uh, getting into more frantic and um, as, I, as I say raucous music but time, uh, time mellows and um, I immediately, on, on listening to this the other day, thought, uh, you know, I quite like this actually. Um, so let's go on. So, listening to it, in some ways, this reminds me of one of those um, colouring in books that you get, whereby you, you buy a, a book of pictures and um, they're just straight line drawings and then you add whatever colour and paint you want in to, um, to, to your own satisfaction or exploration or whatever. Um, the bare bones of the music here reminds me of the the straight line drawings and then the, the violin um, is the adds the colour if you will because uh, it is without a violin it's it's uh, so it sounds quite grey and I don't mean that in a, in a derogatory sense I just mean it's it's um, there's a, a monochrome tint to it um, and the violin adds in as in the colours for you um, another thing that struck me is it's a bit like um, when you have um, 
an expert explaining, uh, telling you something and you don't quite get it. And then you've got your mate next to you who uh, explains into uh, into layman's terms what the expert's saying. So you, <laughs> your violin is, is the expert um, saying all sorts of wondrous things that you perhaps don't understand. And then your mate is, is the bass here, which is basically um, sort of brings that brings the conversation down to a layman's terms, but has as much meaning in it as the violin does, if that makes sense. Probably not, but uh, inside my, um, my my sort of gradually shrinking brain, that makes more full sense to me. So there you go, new model army and um, vagabonds. Um, excuse me, I want to get these buttons correctly positioned so I can uh, <laughs> seem more professional. That ain't gonna happen. <laughs> um, right, so new model. Army. Um, of course, the violin there was um, used in quite a folky way, uh, but very expressive, and it's a universal instrument uh, when it's used in that way. So, for example, it's very often you can pick a a sound when it comes to any music but rock music um very often has a you can geofix where someone comes from or at least where their influences come from so you know we all know this that, uh, that uh, in, in particular genres there's a west coast sound east coast sound there's a uh, uk to two sound whatever all sorts of sounds that you can sort of sort of pinpoint at least the origins of the music if not the actual band uh and what the violin does there it sort of totally anomalizes where some some music comes from because that is universal music you, you could you new model army there you, listening to it with a violin you could say oh, it could come from anywhere um anywhere in the world because the folkishness of the violin is universal you know that could be part of a scottish Cayley, or it could be some um on per band accompaniment or it could be you know a violin player outside at some swish hotel on the danube um just anonymizes anonymizes <laughs> the uh the location of of the or of where a band comes from um so as time's gone by then uh and listening to this afresh after what we're talking 40 years 40 years um i find myself appreciating new model army more than i did then because that need for speed which has never gone away um is tempered by um the, the um acceptance that uh, i can appreciate a wider spectrum of music and that's not to say i, I was i was that narrow-minded in those times but i was certainly uh, hunting for the buzz of um the fast and loud and raucous uh, and distortion was king so um Yes, a uh, nice little uh, memory, memory, I don't know, say it. memory lane. <laughs> it's something I need more of memory um, because it seems to be rapidly fading. Uh, memory of how to speak is part of it. Um, so um, as a consequence of listening to that, I, I've listened to a couple more um, New Model Army tracks. Um, I'm reminding myself of, of some of the familiar ones that I did know in, back in the day. And... Um, I don't find myself disappointed, uh, although I don't think you could recreate the um, surge of adrenaline I did have when I used to listen to Vengeance in, in nightclubs. Um, and again, that's down to the sheer volume of the music and uh, the, the environs around it. But anyway, 
quite enjoyed uh, reminiscing there and that was a reminisce because it is a long long time ago um so but yes a perfect example of how um a violin can enhance um rock music anyway enough bollocks catch you all next time click your box if you want cheerio